everyone, welcome back to my bathroom. We have been here before in many of my other videos. Let's put on our contact lenses, crucial part of the transformation. I'm really blind, really, really blind. Actually, it's funny when I asked you guys, you know, what should I talk about in the get ready with me? Someone said you should talk about your lazy eye more, but I guess some people have lazy eyes and maybe feel insecure about it. I never felt insecure about my lazy eye because I feel like my parents always used to make fun of me about it growing up. Like they would call it my crazy eye and it comes up all the time at work. I should put my contacts in. And it comes up all the time at work because people are like, hey, by the way, like your eyes are going in two different directions. And I'm like, oh my bad, um, that's just my lazy eye. Or sometimes I'll go to work and people will be like, do you have a good side? Like asking you in like a Zoolander way, like ha ha ha. And I'm like, um, yeah, actually I do. I have a severe lazy eye. So if you set up the camera to the left of me and ask me to look, this is what happens. This, not good, a total, cross-eyed situation. So I'm like, um, yeah, actually I do have a good side and it's my right side. Not that you asked, but my right side's my better side. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Okay, be right back. Okay, everyone. Um, welcome to sort of my desk area. <laughs> so today I have two meetings um, later in the afternoon and I'm gonna get ready for them. So I'm gonna be doing my typical light glam that I usually do and let's chat while that happens. First thing I'm gonna do is put on a little bit of lip balm. Fab. M my hair is, okay, we'll get to that later. You guys, um, it was just the holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend, and it was great. So on Friday, I, I had coffee with another YouTuber. By the way, I'm concealing my face. I'm not really gonna take you step by step what I'm doing with my makeup. I am just going to talk to you. I had coffee with another YouTuber, you guys. I'm gonna do a collab and I'm super excited about it. We just met up and chatted and I've been watching her channel for a while and I really like her. Um, and we're gonna do a video together this week and I'm so excited to share it with you. I'll try to give you a hint, maybe you can guess in the comment section, she has a YouTube channel and she's pretty. That's all I'm gonna say. But once we film, I'm sure we'll post a little teaser or something. I'm really excited about that and I feel like since I've joined the YouTube community, I just love watching other people's channels and just seeing how they do things. And I don't know, it's just really fun and really cool. And I just, I really enjoy it. So I'm really excited for our collab um, and to do a video with her. And what was really cool is like, I loved talking to her and talking to other people in general about how they do YouTube because it's just an interesting learning curve for me. It was just a great coffee, so that happened. Things took a turn after that. This was on Friday. So after that, I actually went and met up with my girlfriend. I'm using a little powder foundation here. I told you I wasn't gonna tell you what I'm doing, but I'm telling you what I'm doing. I use powder foundation in the summer because I prefer it. Then after that, I went and worked out with my really good friend, Alessia. So it was the Friday before the holiday weekend. So the vibe in New York on a holiday weekend, especially when the weather is nice, people are just, they're here for it. We were like, what should we do right now? It was like four or five in the afternoon. And so we decided to go and get a drink at Italy. I posted a picture on Instagram from it and it was so cool and so pretty and there were flowers everywhere. And it was just like so Insta friendly. We, I just, I loved it. I was supposed to meet up with Kai later that night but he's working really hard right now on something specific he could not hang out so Alessia and I went and got drinks I had an Aperol spritz and then by like my second Aperol spritz we were kind of just sitting there chilling and my friend Alessia is single so I was like let's download a dating app on your phone why um, because I feel like it. I don't really know anything about dating apps and I never really used one, that's a lie. I did download Tinder when it first came out. I had not yet met Kyle. I tested it. Somebody commented on my Instagram, hey, are you the girl I saw on Tinder? And I was just like really embarrassed and, um, and then I deleted it. So that's like my experience with dating apps. But my friend Alessia is single and I was like, you know, let's just see what's going on out there. It'll be fun. I set up her dating profile and it was really fun and I, I went through all of her best photos and I uploaded them and, you know, answered the little questions for her. And, you know, having your best friend set up your dating app, I feel like it was almost better because I feel like your best friend sees you in the best light. And I feel like if you do it yourself, like, 
I don't know, I'm just trying to justify like taking over my friend's dating profile. We enjoyed that. You know, just perusing, you know, what's going on in New York in the on the dating scene, if you know what I mean. So that was really fun. And then we were planning on leaving, but then um, for some reason, this establishment then proceeded to give us a free glass of wine after we had already had two drinks. And I was like, uh, you know, I wasn't planning on like this, you know, but I went with it, obviously. I was like, thank you so much. So then after that, Alessi and I went to dinner at this Italian restaurant and we ordered three plates of pasta. <laughs> and it's funny because Alessi is my girlfriend who I always work out with. And I feel like we're always trying to like encourage each other to be healthier and eat healthier and work out and all of those things. And then we hang out together and we're like, mm, let's eat everything. <laughs> I think we had like two bread baskets three entire plates of pasta. We were having fun, but it was Friday, you know, TGIF vibes, if that's a thing. <laughs> but that's what happened. And I had a great Friday. So I asked you guys on my community page what kind of topics you guys wanted to hear about. And a lot of you said modeling stories, uh, tell us more about your lazy eye. <laughs> okay. So I figured maybe I'd take you down some of my travel stories as a model. And you know, when I first started modeling and stuff like that, my very first modeling job actually was for Glamour Magazine. And it was this story called How to Wear Lace. It was the summer of my junior year. So this is story time. I had just started modeling and I had just signed with my agency. Very exciting, but I was going on vacation with my best friends to the Jersey Shore. I am from upstate New York and I know the Jersey Shore gets a bad rap because of the show. It was what I looked forward to always all summer long. Like I loved it so much. I'll see if I can find some old photos of me living my best life at the Jersey Shore. So we were on this vacation. My agent at the time calls me and is like, hey, we need you to come back to the city. Um, I have a really important job for you. And I remember I was just, I was so alarmed. I was like, I can't how the heck am I gonna get back to the city? I'm on my vacation. I've been looking forward to this all year long. I saved up all my money from waitressing and hostessing. I'm here to have fun. I don't understand why I need to do this. She's like, yeah, we're gonna send a black car for you and you're gonna come back to the city and you're gonna do this shoot. <laughs> and I remember being like, oh. I was super pumped and I was grateful, but I was just really sad to leave my friends. And at the time I was like 16 and it, it was hard to explain, I remember to my friends. Like I was like, I have to go back and do this shoot and I remember them being like, well, can't you just ask them to do it at another time? Which is a valid question, but at the time it was like my very first shoot ever. So no, it was just like, get your butt back and do this. I took this black car back to the city, which I was like, this is so bougie. It was like a four hour ride, which is so insane that I did that. So then they put me up in a hotel, which was kind of crazy and cool. And it was like probably one of the first times I, I spent a night by myself in a hotel because even though I'm from upstate New York, I never really came to the city and stayed overnight. I just would come to the city and work and my parents would drive me back. So I stayed in a hotel and then I did the shoot the next day and it came out great. It was beautiful. I had no idea what I was doing, but everyone was very kind to me and very patient and really just like helped me learn how to model. Like, that I really was just like learning how to model. After I finished the shoot, I took the black car all the way back to Long Beach Island and finished my Jersey Shore vacation. And thank God, cause I would have been heartbroken if that would not have happened. I'm really glad that I did that because funny enough, a few months later after that magazine came out and I remember I was in my senior year of high school, which was very funny. I remember bringing the magazine with me to school, my backpack and being like, you guys, like I'm in a magazine, this is crazy what is happening. After that, my agent called me and was like, Maybelline wants to see you. I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. That's amazing. Like I had grown up using Maybelline my whole life. And then I go in to see them on the table. The magazine was open from that very story. And they were like, this is how we found you from this editorial. And it was that exact editorial that I left the Jersey Shore to do, which is crazy. That is how I was discovered kind of. And that's how I got my Maybelline contract. And thank God I did it. I'm so glad that I, left the Jersey Shore and did that. Moral of the story is, I actually don't know what the moral of that story is. <laughs> How uninspiring. <laughs> so I have lightly filled in my eyebrows. I don't typically do too much. Now I'm going to do a tiny bit of tinted eyebrow gel. It is not amazing, but it will do. I'm going to do a tiny bit of bronzer. But then after that, after I did that shoot, that's really like when my modeling career kind of 
took off and I started doing a lot of other jobs and started traveling a lot, which was so funny. Before I started modeling, I didn't even have a passport. I had never been out of the country. The farthest I had been was Florida. But yeah, I just had never really left home. So I remember for my next job, what I actually did, I had to go to Morocco with my mom for a job and I had never left the country. And that is the first place that I went, which is kind of crazy. And I remember my mom and I were like, so we were so culture shocked. And when I look back now, Morocco was just, it was so amazing. And it was such a, a cool, special place, but it really, I don't know if I fully appreciated it because I was just so not used to like the circumstances and not used to traveling. Also, I used to be such, like so bad at traveling when I was younger. I mean, it was good when my mom would come with me because I always had someone, but when I started traveling on my own is when things got a little harder. I just would get so lonely and so homesick. And that's something that like people probably don't know about being a model is like you're alone so much like airports and this was blush by the way and now I'm doing highlighter, you know, airports and trains and planes and automobiles. And you're just like, you spend a lot of time alone. And you know, when I was younger and when I chose not to go to college and I chose to model full time, I just felt particularly lonely because, you know, all of my friends made the traditional choice to go to college post high school, which like most people do in the US, but I chose to model. I had such bad FOMO because at the time I remember Facebook had just come out and people were posting their entire lives on Facebook from their digital camera or their Blackberry. Um, and I remember just being heartbroken that I wasn't in, in college with a lot of my friends and I also wasn't doing what everyone else was doing and I had just moved to Manhattan and I decided to model full time in the summer of 2009 and I was like, oh my God, I made the wrong decision. All of my friends are living their best lives, like at parties, having fun, making new friends and I had no friends and did not know anyone and I was like, oh God, I don't, I think I made the wrong decision here. In the end, it all ended up being okay but I remember being really lonely and having really, really bad FOMO. I eventually started making more friends and that's good. But really my oldest friends and the friends that I've had the longest in New York were my friend Allie Michael, I don't know if you guys know her, and my friend Kate Bach, who has been on my channel before. And they were my first friends in New York. But it's funny to think I've gotten so much better at traveling with age because when I was young and I started traveling on my own without my mom, I would just get such bad anxiety, like I said, and I would get so homesick and I would miss my parents and like miss home and just feel so out of sorts. I just like really did not adapt well to like life on the road. I had spent so much time on airplanes and traveling. Like I felt like I was always on an airplane. So whenever I came home, I just like wanted to be at home and I wanted to be by myself. Emily, why are you so antisocial? Like not. <laughs> when Kyle and I first started dating, he was like, always so down to travel, like always wanted to go somewhere, always wanted to be doing something. And I was like, no, 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 no. Like I don't travel for fun. I only travel for work and like, I'm not going anywhere ever. And he was like, um, what? And it took me so long to break out of that cycle because I so heavily associated travel with work and my anxiety would just be through the roof. So I remember one time when Kyle and I, one of our first big trips together was a trip to France. And I had been to France so many times for work, but I could not picture going to France for fun. And we were on the airplane and I, I had a total meltdown. I was like, I, I don't wanna go, like I'm really nervous. Like I just so heavily associated it, like work and travel and especially France, Paris in particular. And I was just melting down. But luckily after that trip, I just had so much fun when we were there and we just drank all the champagne and had just so much fun and just frolicked through the wine fields and wine fields, um, vineyards, vineyards in the Northern part of France. I think Northern part of France. I frolicked through vineyards and had a great time. I slowly started actually enjoying travel and thank God. <laughs> so I'm doing a little bit of lipstick right now, as you can see, this color, and I'm almost done. I wanna do a little bit more blush, and then I'm gonna go put an outfit on. Okay, you guys, that is my makeup. I'm not gonna do my hair because it's kind of already done and I'm gonna just like leave it as it is. Well, I'm gonna take it down and I'll show you that. Yeah, let's go get dressed, let's go get dressed. Okay, everyone, this is the final look. This is everything pulled together. Hold on. This is the final look. I'm just wearing a white t-shirt from Free People and also these super cute jeans. They're high-waisted, they're from the brand A Gold, A Goldie, not totally sure. All right, everyone, this concludes my get ready with me 
transformational video, the daily transformation that happens. I feel like it took a long time because I talked too much, but that was the plan this time. So this is my outfit. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section if this is something that you enjoy. Do you like hearing me talk, talk more, talk less, different stories? Write me in the comment section below. I try to read all of your comments, but anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.